What's going on? How are you guys this Saturday? I'm going to show you a healthy pancake recipe made with high quality ingredients that is not only going to be better for you, it will taste so much better as well. If you give this to anyone, your family, it will blow their mind because with quality ingredients, you get quality taste. Plus, you're removing all of the negatives, the chemicals that typically pollute our food and water, as well as increasing the nutrient vitamin, mineral, and fatty acid content. Let's take a look at this really easy pancake recipe. Now I like this recipe a lot because everything is measured in two. Two cups of flour, two cups of milk, two eggs, two tablespoons of butter, two tablespoons of honey, two teaspoons of vanilla powder, and two teaspoons of salt. It's super, super easy. Two cups, two eggs, two tablespoons, two teaspoons. And I have just a regular organic white flour. If you want to go crazy, you could get sprouted einkorn. This is just organic milk from the store. Go local, raw dairy is the best. This is organic omega-3 eggs from the store. You could go local, farm, corn-free, soy-free. Butter, same with the milk. You want to go raw, local. This is just organic grass-fed butter. Honey, as you guys could see, this is not your best choice, but local farm should also have some raw honey. This is the vanilla powder I like, and this is some land salt to remove some pollutant concerns. So I'm just going to mix everything together, and we'll have our pancake batter. Uh, if your local farm does have buttermilk, uh, that is also a good option, and you could even ferment that overnight uh, to reduce the anti-nutrient content of the flour even further. So I just quickly mixed all the liquids together, and I'm going to add the flour now. Pancake batter is always better if you let it sit a few hours overnight. Uh, for the purpose of this, we're just going to cook a few now, but uh, just keep that in mind. Definitely do this the night before. So I have my pan with the same butter that we used to make the pancake batter, just heating up. I uh, brought over some organic chocolate chips that I never used. I've stopped eating chocolate, so I will sprinkle some of these on one side of the pancake right before we flip it. I mean, I'm sure most of you guys have made pancakes before. You just want it medium-low heat, otherwise the bottom's gonna cook too much. Uh, before the top solidifies enough that you can flip it. So I'm going to take my chocolate chips. All right, we flipped them. All right, I'll take our pancakes out. Now I can't remember the last time I had pancakes, but I have been making these on and off for a couple years for my family. And I always buy them uh, high quality maple syrup. This isn't actually what I usually get them, but I guess uh, my dad goes to Sam's Club and he saw they had some organic maple syrup. That's legitimate maple syrup, and this stuff is a lot more expensive than the fake crap, uh, but it really does taste a lot better. Now, one of my favorite things as a kid was to put even more butter on the pancake, but that's probably not necessary here. Oh, yeah. This is insane. It's so delicious. You have to really get it nice and crispy though. That's really good. Let's see if the, uh, the chocolate chip one's better. I mean, that's dessert. Like, it's dessert. If you're having like bacon, eggs, a classic breakfast that's mostly savory with the pancakes, definitely go with the plain. If you want to feel like you're having dessert or you have kids and they really like sweet stuff, Go with the chocolate chip because just adding the, you know, the sweet chocolate chips to that makes it like you're eating some type of, you know, chocolate cupcake. Uh, so thank you guys for joining me today. Hopefully you like this video. Uh, we have the YouTube channel membership available now, which should be next to the subscribe button wherever you see it. Uh, so you guys can pay a few dollars a month and I'll make sure to respond to your comments. Maybe we'll even do a monthly live stream. Outside of that, please drop a like on the video. Leave a comment down below. Subscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe you next week and be sure to check that notification bell so they don't notify you of my videos. Therefore, you can go to frank to support me through all of my businesses. Thanks again, guys, and I'll see you tomorrow.